Coming off another record year for homicides, Louisville is working to connect people who have experienced trauma to services that could help them cope. WDRB's Darby Bean explains how the Trauma Resilient Community Initiative works. The project focuses specifically on working with families in West and South Louisville. It was first launched in 2018 and is expanding this year. We have a lot of hurt that's going on here in Louisville. 2020 brought levels of violence never seen before in Louisville. Then 2021 ended with even more homicides. Vicariously, we are living other people's pain. And then so you have to think about that. It's a rippling effect that we're all having this collective trauma. The city's Trauma Resilient Community Initiative is a five year, $5 million federal grant to help assist families affected by trauma and violence. In its first few years, the focus has been on creating a trauma informed care system with partnering agencies like the YMCA, the Center for Women and Families and others, training people who respond and provide services. We play a critical role in first getting resilient ourselves. You know, we are trying to support the people who support people. Recently, those behind the project sent out more than 160,000 mailers to homes in South and West Louisville. You don't know how many calls I get from people getting that uh, that mailer. These papers trying to connect more with community members and show the services available here in the city. We have the money set aside for some free therapy for those families who are dealing with a loss due to gun violence, that they can come in and they can just go straight in and, and get some help. The program is working to provide trauma treatment to 400 kids and their families. I know we met 200 of those. That's why we're lagging because of COVID. We want to make sure and rev up. Free youth mental health first aid training will be offered in the upcoming months. To learn how to get connected to these services, you can click on this story at WDRB.com. Darby Bean, WDRB News.